How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here. Today we're talking about borders. I know borders should be the simplest thing in the world, but I've got two ways of making borders for your videos that are super quick and I'll show you how to animate them as well and add like some textured backgrounds. I use this all the time for social media and other client work and like the zoom split screen, but I figured out that these two ways are the fastest ways you can just, you know, do the border. So let's jump straight into Premiere and I'll show you guys how I do it. Now, first of all, I'm going to use this clip from a previous tutorial and to create a quick border, let's just resize this to like 80. And then if I was to create a quick border for that, all you have to do is duplicate that track. So option and then duplicate that find your drop shadow effect drop that on the bottom clip and then change it to whatever color you want i usually go for white and this is the trick here what you want to do is click on shadow only and then resize that clip so let's go to 80.4 for example and automatically that's created a border super quick and then if you want to nest that you can nest that and then just resize that and you've got a clip of the border. So that's like a super, super easy way of doing it. Another way I've seen people do it. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. I just wanted to let you know that this tutorial is brought to you by the 360 Kinetic Transitions Pack. It's got over 400 royalty free sound effects to help you just level up your tight sequences, YouTube intros, music videos, vlogs, tutorials, just anything you can imagine. Grab it today and get the guitar transition pack worth $20 and the Yellow Family Creative pack worth $119 for free. Is they use the grid effect. Now the first way I did it puts your shadow or the border behind your main clip. But this one right here, if we use the grid effect, puts your border in front of your clip. So I'll show you how to do that really quick. So we want it to be on width and heights, and then we want the width and the height, we want those to be exactly the size of your video. So if you don't know what size your video is, all you have to do is find it, reveal it in your project. And then if you scroll across, you'll see exactly the dimensions right there. So I'll pop those in. It's a 4K video, so I'll just pop those dimensions in there. And then what I need to do is Make the border nothing, and then make it normal. I have to put these into zero. Okay, so that's on it. And then here you can adjust the thickness of the border. So say we want to add a texture on that background and just animate it a bit. What you want to do is duplicate that track, and on the top track, just turn the grid off, and then you want this to be on lighten. I'll show you why. Create a bit of space between those tracks because we're going to add some textures. So this is a texture I bought off the Ezra Cohen Chroma Pack. Great pack. And this is what you get once you drop it in between. What you want to do is put that Chroma Pack on Multiply and then you just resize it. So resizing it, make sure it's just on the edges. So that does is it just makes sure the texture is in between. But if I turned off the bottom layer, the texture would be all over that. So that's a way I found I can animate stuff. So what I find with social media content, because most of it is spoken word, talking heads, speaking to camera, what you want to do is just keep it a bit interesting. So what you can do on top of that is maybe add the crop effect. So I would add the crop on all of these really and then start animating it. So I'll animate the top one first. So say I would like, let's add some keyframes and then I'll go 10 frames. So I've just pressed the shift key and then the right arrow key twice just so it moves me 10 frames, add some more keyframes. And here I'm gonna resize this say 25%. Yeah, that looks about right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the squiggly key and just so I've got a full screen 
of my keyframes and I'm gonna ease out and ease in. If you wanna go a bit further, what you can do is click on these arrows and actually speed those up a tiny bit just to add a bit more movement. So, so far what I've got is this. Okay, now because the bottom clip and the first clip are the same exact thing, but I just popped the top one just so I can stick it on a different opacity blend mode. I'm just gonna copy that crop and paste it on the bottom. So this is what I've got so far. All right, and then we're gonna animate the texture underneath. 24%, that looks good, okay. Now, the texture looks a bit robotic, so we're gonna add a bit more movement, easy in, ease out, and we're gonna go to these frames and just mess with the speed and velocity of these. Just add a bit more movement, and this is what we've got. And then on top of that, you can add some sound effects, and this is what it would look like. So that's it. Pretty simple video. I use these all the time. Just to add that border, you can add whatever color you want, whatever texture, and yeah, just uh, to keep things interesting. I hope you find some good use for this one. Till next time, peace.